Hello and welcome to Let's Play The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Yes. Greetings I'm, from the land of the Midnight Sun. I'm Chaos. Because we stopped doing that for some reason. Yeah, I know. And I'm Undyne. And, and don't, uh, uh, don't start yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> sorry, we're a little, little testy because um, we, <laughs> we, we just played like, what, an hour and a half? We played about an hour and a half. Yeah, we played into this game about an hour and a half. Uh, Only to find out we're we recording, weren't recording. <laughs> but it turns out the program wasn't working right, so we yeah. don't have any of that. Well, we we had set it up to to hotkeys, so yeah, I ain't making that mistake. Uh, are we sure we're recording now? <laughs> Do a quick little test. Uh, I can check. Yep, files there. Okay. So yeah, we are totally recording. So we're gonna start a new game here. Yeah. And uh, uh, show you guys the beginning of this game. We did. We done did real good. We found out some stuff. And we did. We we got. We we recorded two episodes. Well, thought we recorded two episodes. And it's amazing. There were jump scares and and uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, speculation and mystery and intrigue, and now we're gonna have to try and recreate all that. <laughs> uh, oh well. But but happen. we shall persevere. Well, at least at least now. At least, yes, yes, the game does not hold your hand, and oh boy, <laughs> does it not hold your hand. <laughs> but you at try, least... You try and um, hold the game's hand, and it will beat your ass. Ethan Carter, I didn't know. Oh. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you, and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. I'm Paul. You call on me. Yeah. If you're a kid like we'll Ethan, get done. you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already hmm, I could feel its interesting. darkness reaching out for me. Yeah, I saw that too. Now so that Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Okay, so in case, well, you guys don't know what we're talking about, but when we exited the tunnel there, it got all orange crackly. Wait, 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 stop. You got all the orange, the orange crackly. Yeah, that, so, that, that's his, like, um, detective medium detective power medium vision. Sense, <laughs> so like what we're seeing isn't actually what's there in no, some cases. No, no. So, so we'll, we'll see stuff that isn't actually there. Okay, so... Um, not yet, not yet, not yet. What? <laughs> okay, so we're, we are going to... Um, <laughs> we're not going to bumble around like we did last time. Yep. Uh, we're just going to take you to these places because like seriously we spent like, you know, all told both episodes, both episodes combined we spent about a good 30 40 minutes trying to solve um the first mystery and just going back and forth you know staring at the body looking staring at the body actually, looking staring at the body like no that's that's technically the second mystery well yeah i know but like we technically well no cuz we skipped this one we so. skipped this one <laughs> couldn't figure out the second one solved the third one came back to this one and then we solved the second one yeah so well like I don't even know if that was a third one. Or, I don't, we we I don't, don't even know. know. You, you guys will see. Yeah. But, um, no, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Ex exploration is the key. You need to explore to find the clues. Yes. Because there are clues everywhere. Literally, go off the beaten track looking for... Look, can we just take a moment to soak in the atmosphere? What? Like, you this just game... love the graphics, don't Oh, you? my God, no, it's beautiful. I mean, All look, the grass look at the wind and the trees. Yeah, okay, no, just stare at the ground for a second. Can you stare at the ground for me? Ground, yes. Okay, that's not. Okay, yeah. Well, look, look at all the textures and the dry leaves, you know, caught in the train tracks. Look at the grass moving. Yeah. Look at the pine needles caught in the rock. Look at the rock. Look at the lichen on the rock. Oh my god. Mm, <laughs> true. All right. Now th this. Let's go discover. Like no, you feel like you're actually here. Like this is a fully realized I environment. This I don't think you can. I think I it'll just extend into infinity. Oh, the music stopped. Uh, no, I don't like this. Can you run? Yeah. No, it's just gonna extend. You're never gonna catch the dragon. Yeah, alright. Ah, catch me! <laughs> We're so close! Ah, 
I wonder if someone's that. actually made an actual game of Hero and Hero. Hero. Probably. Okay, so all now right, so on, on to the first mystery. Oh, did it walk on? <gasps> oh no, jump scare. Yeah, that that what? one got us. That one got us bad. So now we see. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you see the edge of our vision? Look at that. Where it's all the wibbly. Wavy. Yeah. So we sense it. Yeah. And it shows us something. Yeah. It's a piece of a vision. It took us forever. We're like, what the hell is that? And then, so, like, let's see. There after was... staring at the thing for, like, ever, back and forth, back and forth, we finally determined, like, we noticed, like, there's small rocks and, sh and like, short um, tufts of grass. Not like this grass. This grass is long. These rocks are big. So it's a location. So looking for the location. I still say those piles of rocks are awfully mysterious. Suspicious. Suspicious. Oh, I hope you guys can hear all the little creakings. There ah. it is. God damn it. It got me again! <laughs> so now we look at this one and it, a second part's yeah, added. That's still a weird ass trap. The thing. I think it's scary. Well, it's, it's meant because it rotates, and yeah. so you can't get back that's out. That's gonna chew up your leg. Oh my god. Yeah. No, it is a nasty trap. Yeah. Like your mama. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> I forgot that one was there. Uh, that's a bad one. Oh my god. It's all rusty, too. Yep. So now we got okay. three parts. Yeah. Let's see. I remember... I remember where they are, but I don't think I should tell you. <laughs> oh, that's nice. God, yeah, just look at this place. Oh, come on, I know there's one over here. Look at the rocks. Oh, no, the, it's not in the there rocks. It is. Yeah. Let's see. So there was one, we got two, three, four, five. Five. Was it just five, or was there a sixth one? There's five. We've only found four. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, where was that other one? It was... Back on the other side, wasn't it? There was, like, three on one side. That was the last one we found, so it was on the other side. No, 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 not this far. Get past the little birch trees. Okay, one trap. Yeah. Two trap. Three trap. Uh, Where was it? Uh. Uh, ah, God damn it. Uh, <laughs> it still got you. Yeah. yeah it's because it's a jump scare. They get me every time. So now it's time. got all the parts, and now okay. we can look around. Oh my god, I just realized <clears throat> those, what I thought were rocks. Yeah, no, no, no go ahead and zoom in. Yeah, what yeah, I thought were so, rocks are actually skulls. Yeah, it's all skulls. We, and, we originally and thought, ashes. thought they were... Uh, they no, were no, just no. rocks. No, look at the vista. Don't read that yet. Look at the vistas. The vistas. What vista? What the hell? The, the is view. Vista? Oh, the view. Yes. The view. So pretty. Board well, now. except for the read bones. The paper. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. Yeah, I know. Okay, sap. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. Villagers believe this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest, but the old man wanted the villagers to believe this, because then they would search the forest for treasures and not drink his sap. One cruel fall night, someone set fire to the forest, and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Hmm. Ethan, I told you. You can't be here. But, Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just just leave it. I'll read it later. Uh... Okay, hold on, hold on. Dumb move, dumb move. So, originally, I thought that the grandfather was, like, 
dismissive and, like, bothered, you know, right. like, ugh, I'll read it later, another one of your stories. But no, now it seems like, like, yeah, he can't, he's not interested, he can't be bothered because his mind's elsewhere. And, yeah, he's and, totally focusing on other stuff. And, and we'll, we'll show you in a second. So, yeah, look. Look at the bottles. Yeah, he's got all the bottles. Can you zoom into the bottles? Out here drinking, huh? Look, there's like... Is that moss? Oh, wow, they... Those have been there for a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a newspaper clip okay, okay, yeah. fire. Oh, that's part two. Yeah. Okay, so here's part one. So, One Dead in House Fire by Jeff Jormu. Bayfield County fire damaged a historic home in Red Creek Valley Wednesday morning, according to officials from the Bayfield County Fire Department. Yeah. A family of six was asleep when the blaze broke out at the remote house, once owned by Albert Vandergriff, once at owned. 46 Old Ogden Road in Red Creek Valley. Gail Carter, 58, was pronounced dead at the scene. The remaining family members were able to escape. Carter's husband, Edwin, 62, told investigators he may have fallen asleep with a lit cigarette in his hand. Firefighters were dispatched to the scene at 4.22 a.m. and remained at the scene until around 5 a.m. Wednesday. They returned to the property four hours later to extinguish hot spots which had rekindled. Assisting in the initial fire was Ashland Township Volunteer Fire Department. Masonville Emergency Medical Services was on standby at the scene. Okay, so the old um, Vandergriff estate. Right. Okay. So, after heated public hearing, no answers for Vandergriff errors by Tom Ott. Uh, Auten. Bayfield County. Members of the Vandergriff family again gathered in the Bayfield County Courthouse today to de debate the fate of the Vandergriff fortune, which has remained in escrow since 1964, when family patriarch Albert Wait, Vandergriff... 61. Is that a one? Yeah. Oh, you're right. When family patriarch Albert Vandergriff, 71, died in a mine accident, the after effects of which nearly destroyed Vandergriff Industrial and severely damaged the local economy. James Vandegriff, 38, of Chicago, argued that his father's demands were unreasonable and that many Vandegriff family members have personal reasons for wanting to avoid living in Red Creek Valley on the Vandegriff estate, as stipulated in the Elder Vandegriff's will. The recent fire, which we just read about, yeah. in which the Vandegriff home was damaged, he said, only underlined his family's concerns. Since 1967, seven. Seven, the Carter family has lived upon the former Vandegriff estate as temporary caretakers. Okay, so, so Ed, oh, butterflies. Wait, go back. The butterflies, butterflies. So Ed Carter would be Ed, Ethan's grandfather. Yeah. Well, okay. So the sap, the sap in the story, is probably the alcohol. Yeah. So his grandfather would come there to get away and drink his booze. Um. To probably drink and forget the fact that he caused a fire that killed his wife. Yeah. So. So what about the treasure? Everybody going, thought going he backwards. found the treasure? Uh, What's the jade amulet then? I don't know. I don't know. There's more there's definitely yeah. more to discover. Okay, okay, stop. What? We have to we have to marvel. Ooh, it's so pretty. Red Creek Valley. It seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. So pretty. Ethan warned me about that. It's a dam up there. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. So he didn't pretty. need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Now, why this would be his last one? I still love the dust playing over the. Figured anything the out yet. Yeah, I know. They even got little dust blowing on it. And they mm -hmm. got all the little nail holes. This is a dilapidated bridge. Shape. Yeah, all the rust. Oh, they've definitely paid attention to textures and graphics and mm -hmm. stuff. Okay, Mr. Railcar. Rail with blood. Inspect. We inspect it. Blood. blood. Animal. Human. Accident. Murder. Accidental murder. Murder accident. Crankshaft. Yes. Fresh scratches recently used. Crank. So crank shot. All right, so this is our detective skills. So what it does is it gets further so and further you, together. You rove around until it till it clarifies like that. Right, and then and then it hold. shows you where it's at. So, eh, a smidge of hand holding. 
a smidge. A smidge. This smidge. is like his ability, though. He's like a touch yeah. now. I think. Yeah. So there's a crankshaft that we have to go find down in the water. I think technically it's called uh, psychoclemency. Psych no, psychometry. Psychometry. Touch now. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's what I call it. Okay. Okay, now we're just gonna zoom over here to the second mystery. That's, that was the, that was the start of the second mystery. Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. So, we got some rope here. Mysterious rope. So. Oh, it's cut because the train it was cut ran over. Because the train it. ran over it. Okay, so that's a clue. Yeah. Okay. And then the blood. And the severed legs. Yes. Yeah, those are severed legs. The rest, of, the rest corpse. of corpse. Blood trail. That blood looks really fresh. Crawled away. Severed legs. Next to dandelions. Yeah, no, like this looks fresh enough to like have happened in the last day. Oh, because no more recently it, than that. It should be black. Inspect. Fractured skull. So we need to pay attention to all these little things because now we yeah. gotta figure out what caused the fractured skull and the head trauma. Yeah. Okay, zoom in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're trying to investigate it. Yeah, okay, did you see how it, it like, yeah. blew out? Yeah. It yeah, blew out. So, so that's that... how big it needs to get. So we oh, need yeah. to, like. Death scene disturbed by third party or eroded by time. Oh. His sense isn't sure yet, so we need to recreate the scene. Yeah, so like the other one had like missing puzzle pieces. This guy, um, he's just got like an area it needs to be blown up to. But yeah. there's a little hint of how far it needs to yeah, go. The... I think, I don't know, we haven't actually discovered, uh, we haven't gotten far enough to get to another mystery. Yeah. Mystery the like The other that. one just had different things that we had to find to yeah. uncover the pieces yeah. of the scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, and this one's really interesting, how there's only blood on one end. Yeah, there's only blood on one end yeah. of the, uh... So we girt that. Of the crankshaft. Okay, try... Try and explore. Um... Just want to see if they're... If, if, our, if our theory is correct. On what? Well, I don't want to say yet if it's wrong. I, oh... Trying really hard not to spoil it for it for everyone, you know. Okay. Inspect. So we got gas. Yeah, gas. Diesel, Diesel. fuel dropped carelessly in a rush, on purpose. A gas canister. Yeah. And we got. Dried grass. Dried grass. No sun. Rectangle shape. Rail car from the bridge, which we needed the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it'll show us the rail car. Boop. Which we already know. Yes. I wonder why they're showing it to us again, unless they're saying this is the next step you need to take, the next clue. Right. So. It's showing us that because we need to get the rail car back here. That's what it. Wants. That is the next step. Yeah, and then the clue, the mm -hmm. next clues are not going to show up until you do that. Most likely. So do you want to go ahead and do the third mystery? No. No, it's not gonna sh- Oh, it is? Huh. Oh, yeah. We Then we just missed it's that last time. Slot. Rock. Rock divot. Divot. Fresh dirt. Fresh dirt. So there was a rock that's supposed to be there. Rock. <gasps> ah, that would have been helpful earlier. Yeah, we just found the rock. So a rock next to a tree stump. Yeah. Now uh, you wanna go, go ahead and grab that right now? Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab it right now. Okay. Then we'll go get the real car. Yeah, we found the rock just by chance. We were- we were so lost at that point, yeah. No, oh, yeah, it's right there. Oh, wait, and you couldn't see, but it had blood on the one end of it? Yeah, it's kind of yeah. hard, but it's so dark. No, 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 let's, let's go do the, uh... No, we're gonna finish this one first. Okay. Well, we have to end with the third mystery, because it's just, that's just a good ending. I know. <laughs> uh, I really wish you guys could have seen it when we discovered it the first time. It was just... Quiet. I know. So we spin the crank to start it up. And hop in.
back this thing up here until it gets to where it's supposed to be. It's still so pretty. Look at the seat. Look at the torn texture. The thread barren, you know. Oh, it's just amazing. Right here? Mm hmm. About, you know. It made the noise. It made that noise. I'm pretty sure that noise means that we got it back to the right spot. <laughs> that means spot. you did a good job. Okay, so we got the rope, the legs, the canister. No, 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 go up to him now. Yeah. So we got the rock. So now we should be able to get a hold it. Go go show the the crankshaft. All right. Like so look, there's I don't know, you can't really see it right here, but there's blood on the end of the crankshaft, but not the crankshaft, but not on like the. No way for the splatter to get yeah to the end of the crankshaft and not get on everything else. Yeah. Oh, the rock. You have to go put the rock back. All right. Because you have to recreate the scene from yeah. before it happened. Yeah. Now the there you back. go. Now See, we have to inspect the little it's little tiny things like that, you know. Very. It's detailed. not just collecting. You have to to set stuff up. Yeah. And now go. it goes all the way. So we got little sprinkles that come out, and they're gonna show us different uh, scenes from the timeline of what happened. Yeah. Wibble, 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 wibble. We'll just follow this one here. Yeah. Bloop. Okay, so that kid's Ethan, and we got a guy. And a guy we got again. Another dude holding his head. Yeah. And we got a kid, old dude with the crankshaft, and, and dude guy. with no legs now. Yeah. And then we got old dude, dude with no legs. Yeah. And then over here we got the train. And both dudes. Two dudes. Yeah. And other dudes hiding a rock behind his back. Yeah. And then. Yeah. Here's him picking up the rock. So and you got so, you got the so now you have to put put the clues in order of how they happened. Right. Chronologically, you have to tag yeah. them on what. They Which you got it right there. the first time. Yeah. So the conflict starts because he's tying the kid to the, uh, the, the railroad track. See, I thought the guy was freeing the kid and the old man was the one who tied him there. But So the old man would have to get the rock before he could But what's the old him. man doing here in the first place? I, I don't know. Before he can confront him with the rock. So this has to happen after... He gets the rock. And then this is after he's been smacked in the head right before he gets run over by the train. Yeah. And then just following, he'd have to move down here. And why is the kid just standing there like, oh, my, exactly. the guy who tied me up, oh. So we got everything marked okay, chronologically. Okay, now visualize. And then we'll visualize, see if we got it right. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. We can't destroy it, Ethan. We can't destroy time, and that's what he is. He is forever. What does he mean? Gail, honey, I wish there was another way. So that's the grandfather talking to his dead Travis, wife. Tell me where Ethan is. You now, guys don't know who Travis is, but... Give the sleeper what he wants. Who's We're the sleeper? All Look, old man. You need to go... <gasps> so Ethan gets free. Yeah. Well, he's stumbling around. Then he runs his ass down. Oh. Ugh. And he crawls a long way. Yeah, he did. Run, goddamn! Go! 
Get out of here. Travis, close your eyes. Jeez. And they all coalesce together. Yeah. And then we follow. Once we follow. Because uh, we know where it's going. The music's really creepy. Just I like do, the music. Do, 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 Grandpa! Do, do. Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then mm. fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Hmm. See how his body goes kind of rigid there? Yeah. Very odd. Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age mm -hmm. helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience, because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. That's that's a very interesting point of view. Kind of messed up. Okay, so that was the second mystery that took us forever. 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 It still wants us to to get in there. Yeah, I know. So we'll. Uh... So, um, yeah. No, we're gonna show you guys the third mystery. Because it's awesome. Because you'll see. And uh, you gotta find it first. You're gonna have to come at it from the other side. Yeah, because there's long the tracks here. We just need to follow mm -hmm. the tracks. So this is this is beyond that uh that rock slide. There's the rest of the train tracks, or the the train car. There's a little station over there. I think this is far enough. Wait, yeah, go over there. Yeah, wander in there. Yeah, we found this last, the first time because I made him wander around because I, I wanted to explore. No, 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 go back over there. Yeah, just look in the clearing. Wait, look at the flowers. We have those flowers. Huh. Let's grow up here. That's cool. Where the hell is it? Um, get back that way. No, get up on the- okay, stop. Pan around. Okay, go back to the left. I think- no, to the right? No, 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 it's to the right. Yeah, that way. Yeah, just go straight. There it is, over to the right. Okay, yeah, you yeah. guys see those lights? Yeah, so we saw these lights from a distance, so we thought we'd go check them out. Yeah, we thought it might be a clue. We were wrong. Okay, okay, stop. Just, just pan around. Just look around. Just. This is in the middle of the woods, guys. What is this? It's. It's got hand signals. It's changed from last time. Nah, you ain't gonna be in a row. Oh, you fucking... Oh, wow. Seriously? Yeah. Alright, so we got... Yeah, this... Out. This isn't a story about ghosts. <laughs> this ain't ghost shit. Yeah. This, this game is totally what... It's not what you thought it was. Is he tell? He has to be teleporting, He's right? Teleporting or something, it's pissing me there off. There he is. That gray suit blends in with the shadows and shit. So yeah, and then you shadow. just see a silhouette. There he is to the left. It's so creepy. There he is. 
Like, where is he leading us? There he is. Alright. You see that red? Well. <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at it. Go on. Go in here. Wow. I did an amazing job with this. Yep, this, uh, stinko shit. Yeah, see, I thought this was, you know, a game just like all the others, you know, about, like, you know, supernatural stuff, ghosts, and, you know, creepypasta stuff, right? Nope! No, this game is something different. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. And look, there are other pods, too. Yeah, there is. There's wow. At least a half dozen other pods. No, way there's more than that. A dozen. Yeah, there's... Wow. Like, there's why? another dozen pods Why out are there. they all brought out here? You know? Huh. Mm. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow, so when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the other before others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edge of the stars. The beast showed its fangs, and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles. But the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Uh-huh. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the Beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, no, no, the pan. So, yeah, guys, we're back in the clearing. Back in the clearing, and now. Wait, read it. Go, go back oh and God. no read the thing. Go in, you dumbass. So this is a page from a, a like a pulp magazine. It's a cover. It's got pulp a magazine, yeah. Yeah. So it's abstruse tales, America's finest science fiction, January 1964, 40 cents, featuring Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding, plus Julian West, Michael Arden, Clarence Carlyle, and many others. Travis's defacement says Gaylord. <laughs> so, and Travis was. I the like guy how you just, say that with just like just no emotion, just no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so Travis was his brother. Yeah. The yeah. one that was killed. Yeah. By the grandfather. Yeah. So. Okay. So pull back. So is that the story over there? Is that Fangs? Yeah, that's Fangs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, the cover. Like, go back to the cover. Right. Right, because on the cover... That's totally the pod. That's the pod that we jumped yeah. into. So right, no, pull what, back. So what? So, are we jumping into the kid's imagination? Yeah, or... no, look, look, this is constructed like a spaceship. Yeah. I didn't notice that before. So, the kid's, like, leaving psychic visions of his stories around. Or, or we are picking him up as the detective. We're picking up psychic visions based off of his stories uh, imprints? and artifacts that like, are... See, that, that's what I was I thinking, know. that, like, there, there, there's two things going on. Either either it's the detective's ability, powers, like, um, that, 
he's picking up on all this, like the psychic residue, and he's projecting it, you know, and that's what we're seeing. Right. Or it's the kid doing this. Like, the kid's imagination is so great that he's, like, he's the one manifesting all this. But then, what's the sleeper? Like, who is the sleeper? Yeah. And what, what was the... What was that? Corvus. Corvus. Corvus and the sleeper and the room. Yeah, what's up with the has room? To be destroyed. Yeah. So, which now, now that I think about it, maybe the room that has to be destroyed might that have something to do with that fire that happened in the house? Do you think the fire was trying to destroy it? Yeah. Why? Why don't none of the was it the Vandergriffs? Yeah. Why don't the family like? Why don't they want to live at the house? Yeah. No, it's. And what what's the treasure? What's the jade amulet? Yeah, you, know, you you saw you saw <gasps> three we saw three mysteries and we get And found like a dozen more. Yeah, found a dozen more questions. So Yeah. Yeah, this Yeah, this game is just amazing. So yeah. So um So I don't I don't know. I I still don't think aliens are off the table. <laughs> I think I think all options are open right now. Yeah. This this game is way more than I thought it was. Way more depth. It it reminds me of um, Alan Wake and, and Murdered uh, Soul Suspect. Yeah, like a combination of the two in the best possible way. Yeah, and it's yeah. so beautiful. And I mean, if you want, you can check it out for yourself on Steam. It's oh, like please do. 15, yeah, twenty bucks. It's and it's it's totally amazing. worth it. Yeah. And um. And and oh, that was the other thing. We don't even have a high end computer. Like our graphics cards, like what five years old? Yeah. Yeah, and this this game looks amazing. But um, it's, if you feel like you're right there, like you're yeah. you're actually in the forest, like yeah. So we have one question for everybody. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Let us know if uh, you want us to just release like an episode every day, or if you want like more, because we can we can put out more episodes. Like every two episodes day. of this you want a day. Two episodes a day. You want them longer, shorter? Let us know, cause um, until we uh, hear back from you, we'll keep putting them out. Yeah, all, um, all like what seven, <laughs> seven of you guys. <laughs> we have nine subscribers. Nine. Right now, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yay, nine. nine. We're almost at ten. Yay! Somebody subscribe. Get us to that magical number ten. No, I, awesome. I like our nine. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, our neg. If you, like, nine. if you like the video, like uh, if you like the video, hit like. If you like us, subscribe. Yes. Help us get to ten. <laughs> it's yeah. not that important. No, not really. I just thought it'd be cool. I just want to show people like I, awesome. This, games. I want to show people games. This is amazing. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And so this, uh, this video is run a little long, but it's it's the first. It's the it's the introductory video of a new series. First episodes so. always run a bit yeah. long. So. Uh, it's the series premiere. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. I hope that one recorded. <laughs>